Hi, this is Jamie from WC Vendors. In today's video, we'll be talking about template overrides. WC Vendors includes a nice, easy to use, but powerful templating system for both WC Vendors Marketplace and WC Vendors Pro. The templates are available in the templates directory in each of the plugins, which you can see here. You follow the same directory structure for both WC Vendors Marketplace and WC Vendors Pro. That is dashboard, emails, front and orders. Then with WC Vendors Pro, we also have product and store. The dashboard templates are related to anything to do with the WC Vendors dashboard. That includes your product edit forms, your coupon form, the notice, their reports, navigation, permissions and more. Emails, most of the emails for WC Vendors ship in WC Vendors Marketplace. There are only a couple of templates in WC Vendors Pro. Front is anything related to the front of your marketplace, including the vendor listings, shipping information, ratings, search forms, widget forms, etc. Product is related to anything on the single product page, including SEO, meta, and the report system. Finally, for store, that is related to the vendor store, including the three different store headers. To override a template, the first thing you'll want to do is make a copy of the file from the plugin and move that into your child theme. In this example, we have WC Vendors Marketplace, which is a child theme of storefront. Then you need to create a folder called WC-Vendors, and then all templates are located in here. For instance, if we wanted to override the product edit form to add more information or remove fields without using our form setting system, you can do this here. From here, we're going to edit the product. From here, we have a copy of the product edit form that we have already slightly modified. So we have edit artwork, edit artwork. We've added some information here. We have now uploaded that to the template override. If you go into the WooCommerce status page, you can check which of your WC vendors templates have been overwritten if you scroll down to template overrides. So at the moment, there aren't any, but if we refresh, now that we've got our product edit template, wrong spot, let's put it in the right spot. Now that we have it in the right spot, you can see that we have an override for product edit. Now, if we go to the vendor dashboard and we use for the add product, we'll see that our overrides have now been added. You should be putting these into a child theme because then your overrides will not be overwritten if you update your theme, which happens regularly if you're using a well-supported theme such as Storefront or Astra or Flatsome or Woodmart or any of the popular ones that are constantly updated. You can also add custom fields here. So let's quickly grab a custom field. Now let's say you're running an art gallery. So we've overridden it to be add artwork instead of add product. You can modify most of the strings without having to edit templates by using a translation plugin, and that's your, our preferred recommendation for you. However, if you want to add extra custom fields, you can do that directly into the template, or you can hook into the template actions, which we can go to in a different video. For a quick example, we're going to add a custom field to that product edit template override. So if we come to here, we've just added a field a text area underneath the tags, which we will then need to upload. Once that has been uploaded to your marketplaces theme directory, if we come back over to here, we now have Canvas material. This will be automatically saved because we're using our special form helper save system. So all you have to do is define the field and then WC Vendors Pro will handle all of the saving. You would need to modify your theme templates to output these extra meta fields, which we will go through in a future tutorial. For now, this will just give you an example of how to override a template. When you're overriding templates, it's a good idea to only copy the templates that you need to override. Do not copy the entire template directory to your marketplace. Otherwise, you'll start to get messages when we update the templates that your templates are out of date. In this example, we're gonna copy the entire store folder over. Even though we're not doing any modifications, WooCommerce and WC Vendors thinks that you have overridden all these templates, and so now they're all listed as available. When we make changes to these templates, 
you will get a notification that your templates are out of date. We recommend if you're going to need to do template overrides, the only time you should be doing this is when you cannot get hooked into an action for a particular field or you cannot disable or hide a field using our forms settings system. If you wanna create your own completely custom product ad form, this is a great use of the product template system. Otherwise, we recommend you just use our form helper system instead. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can comment below, contact us via our website at wcvendors.com, or you can tag us on Twitter at WCVendors.